Built in 1935, Hohner has a long and interesting history as a camp first used to train German soldiers, including the Luftwaffe, during the Second World War. The famous roundhouse was a German officer's mess. It then became a home for survivors of the neighbouring Nazi concentration camp Bergen-Belsen. The death camp was liberated in April 1945, just weeks after Anne Frank had died there. Thousands of displaced Jewish survivors remained there until 1950. Alongside the barracks are the biggest training ranges in the whole of Germany. And it was a key site during the Cold War. It was effectively on the front line and home to 1st Armoured Division, as well as the Desert Rats from 1947. It remained a key strategic base and has supported many overseas operations. After the collapse of Communist Germany, the British Army of the Rhine was disbanded in 1994, while Hohner continued to host the 7th Armoured Brigade. I was based there as brigade commander, garrison commander, in 1993-94. But a very significant part of my time there was spent in Bosnia. And in fact, when I deployed, I took just about all of the brigade with me. There were virtually no troops left, uh, just lots of families. And I remember my wife had a very demanding task with all the other commanding officers' wives and so on to, to make sure that the families were all looked after while we were all away. And uh, that was very important when we had soldiers lost in Bosnia. Look, caring for the families and looking after them was a really important part. And that was when really the garrison all came together again, but in a different format with just the wives and, and ch children there. It will remain open and be run by the German army, but will be open to NATO troops as a training ground and will also house a Dutch tank squadron going forward. British troops have been rebased across the UK and today marks the final handover. Just three Brits remain for the next few weeks as part of the drawdown team. While British defence budget cuts a changing global threat and Germany's demilitarisation of the area, Hohner has finally been handed back to Germany almost 80 years after it first opened. Its new name is yet to be decided. Kyle Ark, Forces News.